Hey guys, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, and I'm glad you're here. I really do mean that. I appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed to my channel. And I appreciate all of you guys who are watching who haven't subscribed yet. But, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Alright, today guys, I'm going to go into my micro pocket organizer by Maxpedition. You've seen this in other videos. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to talk about two items that I just purchased that are in this micro organizer. The first of those items is this. The, the Right in the Rain Waterproof Spiral Notebook. I've seen these before on videos, but I've never owned one. I thought it's about time I got on board. I picked this style and this size because it fits perfectly in the back pocket of this micro organizer. See, it fits perfectly right there. So, that's item number one. Second item I want to share with you, again, I just purchased this at the same time, and that is this. Tombow pressurized pen. Now, the claims about this pen are that because it is pressurized, you can write upside down, you can write on wet conditions, in wet conditions, like writing right in the rain. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this combo with the right in the rain waterproof notepad and the Tombow pressurized pen. We're going to put them to the test and see if they perform as described. So, let me move my kit out of the way. It's not raining. It has been for like a week, but of course when I want to do something in the rain, it stops. So to simulate the rain, I have a water bottle that is just filled with water and this will sim simulate rain. So, this uh, right in the rain pad, I don't know exactly what it's made out of. The paper is treated somehow. Um, the cover on it is nice and flexible and it's not regular paper either so the, the, the front and the back are not going to rip on you. I'll read what it says on the back. It says, Defying Mother Nature. Right in the rain, it's a patented, environmentally responsible, all-weather writing paper that sheds water and enables you to write anywhere in any weather. It says, Using a pencil or all-weather pen, right in the rain ensures that your notes survive the rigors of the field, regardless of the conditions made right here in the USA and uh, so we're gonna give it a shot it's pretty cool on the back side too it has a little measuring you can see on the top it's got inches on the other side it's got centimeters so that's a pretty neat little little thing there but anyway let's give it a try let's take the pen and I'm just going to pick a page. First I'm going to write something on it with it dry and then I'll wet it to see if it smears or if it still holds up after it gets wet. Alright, so there we go. I'll show you guys what it looks like writing on dry paper in dry conditions with the Tombow, Tombow pen. And this is what it looks like. Subscribe to Arab and Outdoors today and pay nothing. Warning, content on Arab and Outdoors is addictive. So now what we're going to do, we're going to wet it. Right, let it drip off there. All right, we're 
we're going to take it and we're going to smear it now. And look. Didn't smear a bit. Pretty cool, huh? If you would have done that on a regular piece of paper, one, the paper would have got weak and tore. Two, the ink would have bled and it would look bad. But it didn't. So, test number one, both the pen and the pad function perfectly. All right, second test is we're going to take, I'm going to take, uh, I don't want to waste all my paper, so I'm going to take the same piece of paper and we're going to wet the paper and then see if we can write on the paper when it's wet. So I'm taking the back side and I'm going to wet it. You can see the water kind of just beads up on it. But now that the paper is wet, I'm going to take the Tombow pen and see if I can write on it. All right, guys. This is pretty awesome. I'm going to show it to you now. Wow. It works as if the water was not even here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the water off and see if it smears again. No, it did not. The other side is still perfect as well. The paper is still strong. It's not, kind of, it's not ripping like normal paper would if it was wet. It's still so there you have it guys the right in the rain spiral waterproof notepad and the tombow pressurized pen it looks like they passed the test guys so so yeah if you want to pick these guys up you can get them on amazon you can get one of these pads for three dollars and 95 cents and the tombow pen was uh eight dollars and 44 cents i'll put a description of each down below in the description section what a great place for a description huh but anyway i'm really impressed i like the uh the quality of it it's just it met my expectations i'm happy good purchase all right well hey guys that's what i got for you today i do appreciate you coming along on urban outdoors as always and uh for all of you who have subscribed to my channel Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do mean it. I, I love reading your comments and interacting with you. I love watching your channels. And uh, so, hey, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you give me a subscribe, a like, share the video if you feel so inclined. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors. Hey guys, I forgot the damn water bottle. And today I'm going to start with my MacBook. My, my uh, I love reading you guys. Uh,